okay this is the mathematics question that we have okay say if sn is equals to 2 plus 4 plus 6 <clears throat> okay down to 2n find s6 plus s7 so let's look at um, how to find s6 and plus s7 okay now the s6 and s7 is since it is moving in twos they have two four six okay it's in twos so s6 should be two times six why s7 should be two times what seven to give us what 14 and two times six to give us what 12 okay so s6 plus s7 will now give us 12 plus 14 and the answer becomes what 26 answer p the next question 41 if sn is equals to 2 plus 4 plus 6 and 2n find s6 minus s9 plus s7 so the same thing here okay is moving in twos so what you're going to do here is in answer something like 2 times 6 12 2 times 9 18 2 times 7 is what 14 okay so that is what you're going to then subtract and get your answer then this one says 42 okay 3tq 4q2 is equals to 6 and 4t3q2 uh, okay is equals to 7 now t is equals to multiplication while q is equals to addition okay we resolve that 3 times 2 3 times 4 minus 4 plus 2 is equals to 6 then 4 times 3 minus 3 times 2 is equals to 7 so that is it so for the equation they give it becomes 6 times 4 minus 4 times 3 which is equals to x so cross over to the other side comes x is equals to 24 minus 7 which is equals to 17 okay so that is how to solve that particular question okay that's number 42 question I'm going to see it and see the how it is you look at number 42 you see what i'm talking about okay then number 43 say given that 4 b 3 d 6 is equals to 18 and 3 b d 2 3 b 2 d 3 is equals to 6 so you should find x so how are we going to find x in 2 b 4 d 0 d o okay uh, or d 0 equals to x so how are you going to find x there so that is the question in number 43 okay so we're going to find how to get that particular answer there now how that 4b 3d 6 is equals to 18 3b 2d 3 is equals to 6 then b is multiplication y d is addition then we'll solve as follows okay so whenever you see this kind of question you should determine look at it critically and use your signs addition multiplication subtraction and work it out and see the one that best suit and that's the one that you're going to use and solve the question so we have here three times three plus six is equals to 18 then 3b 2d 3 is equals to three times two plus three is equals to nine therefore 2b 4d o is equals to two times four plus zero equals to eight so the answer becomes what eight Okay. so if you look at it very well you see that it's very simple so all you need to do is make sure you know how to use your signs addition subtraction and multiplication and division that's all then number 44 says given that 4a3 is equals to 11 16b4 is equals to 5 find x when 8a 12bx is equal to 6 okay so in this particular question, I believe you see that it is going in line with uh, the way the other one went. Look at the first one here. So we're going to look at it. It said from 4A3 is equal to 11. 16B4 is equal to 5. AX is equal to A is equal to A. Then we we'll subtract what 1 from it. And B is equal to what you divide. Then we we'll add 1 to it. Okay, B is division. So A is what multiplication. Then do what add one to it. So A four A three means four times three. So in any multiplication you subtract. So subtract one from it. Twelve minus one eleven. Sixteen B four sixteen divided by four add one to it becomes five. So for the equation have eight A twelve B X. That means equals to six. We have it something like eight times twelve. Okay, minus one because it's multiplication. Then we now have divide by okay because of the b mm, divide by x 
plus 1 equals to 6. Then 96, which is 8 times 12 over x, then plus 1. So you subtract do all, one of them, you get your answer. Number 45, we have here, okay, we have 4a3 equals to 11, 16b4 equals to 5, find x. So you try that one on your own and solve. Then number 46, also make an attempt to number 46. Practice that one on, on your own and also what to solve. Now, given that 4a3 is equals to 11, 16b4 is equals to 5. And uh, let's say we should find x. Find x. Okay, so you actually work that one on your own and get there. So other question that has to come, that usually come with CME in a... Uh, uh, there also is uh, this is this question that has to do with animals okay animals their agenda and their younger ones so you take your time to read all those ones that are here okay but the question is usually the highest one or two from this uh, kind of uh, um, the, uh, kind of question okay so don't just spend much of your time in it I just um, did the video okay and include this one so that uh, Anybody that want to get fully prepared, uh, will be fully prepared for it. So that is the reason. Okay, if you look at it very well, see that uh, we have different animals, their younger ones, and uh, okay, male and female, their younger ones, male and female, their younger ones, male and female, their younger ones. Okay, so this is actually what we have: male and female, their younger ones. You can see it sheep, swan, swine, tiger, whale, wolf, okay, dog, dog, and so on and so forth. These are things that we have. Okay. So just read it and get it. So next one is current affair. Current affairs, we're going to look at some few current affairs to include to the one we have done before. The sitting president of Nigeria is near to Abu. The vice president of Nigeria is Kashim Shetima. Then deputy senate president is Bara Ujibrin. So you just know down those ones, okay? The other important ones is Moto is uh, Abraka is a uh, Dels is knowledge, character, and service is at Abraka at Uli, not Uli, Uli. Then the vice chancellor we have is Professor, the first one is Professor F.A. Ukoli, second one, Professor Pius, okay? Third one, Professor A. E. Okoko, then Professor Uye. Then Professor J. O. Enoho, then Professor Eric, Professor Victor F. Okay, then Professor Andy Ebunyanga, which is the current one. Okay, so that is the current affair. Okay, I just have to include for revision purposes. Then, okay, we have done this one before. Deputy Senate President and the Senate Presidents. Okay, and then. Uh, if I say president of Nigeria, just know it. Okay, then president of Ukraine is uh, Volodymyr Zelensky. Then president of Russia is Vladimir Putin. Then the full meaning of NATO is uh, not Atlantic Treaty Organization. I just include it because of what is going on there. You must ask you questions.